it's just it's just outside of human control. Now, the thing that's going to be tricky here is that it's going to be very tempting to use AI as a weapon. It's going to be very tempting. In fact, it will be used as a weapon. Um, so the the on, the the on ramp to serious AI. The danger is going to be more humans using it against each other. I think most likely that'll be the danger. Yeah. How far do you think we are from something that can make its own mind up, whether or not something's ethically or morally correct, or whether or not it wants to do something, or whether or not it wants to improve itself, or whether or not it wants to protect itself from people or from other AI? How far away are we from something that's really, truly sentient? Well, I mean, you could argue that any group of people... Like like a, a company is essentially a, a cybernetic collective of people and machines. That's what a company is. And then there are different there's different levels of complexity in the way these companies are formed. And then there are sort of there's this sort of like a collective AI in in the Google sort of search, Google search, you know, the where we're all sort of plugged in as like like nodes on the network, like leaves on a big tree, all f- and we're all we're all feeding this network with our questions and answers. We're all collectively programming the AI, and the, the and Google plus the, all the humans that connect to it are one giant cybernetic collective 